okay we will go through some important points in the class 12 physics chapter 7 alternating current what is our direct current and alternating current direct current sources and uh, circuits with the DC sources these currents do not change the direction with the time okay DC currents do not change the direction with the time but the AC current the electric mains supply in our homes and offices is a voltage that varies like a sine function okay sine wave is the time such a voltage is called the alternating voltage okay AC voltage varies like a sine wave why do you need AC alternating voltage current the main reason for preferring the use of the voltage, AC voltage over DC voltage is that AC voltage can be easily and efficiently converted from one voltage to the other by means of transformer okay the turn you can use the transformer to convert the voltage if you are using the AC further the electrical energy can also be transmitted economically over long distance for the long distance power transmission is feasible with the AC voltage okay that is why we are using AC voltage another phase commonly used means this a potential difference also called voltage this is how we represent the AC symbol okay here this is a AC alternating voltage source uh, this is the voltage Vm into sin omega t omega is the angular frequency t is the time okay Vm is the amplitude at any instant omega is the angular frequency see the Kirchhoff's rule says this voltage shows this voltage is equal to the voltage drop across the register in a loop the source voltage equal to the voltage consumed by the elements in the loop here only we have a resistor so this voltage source uh, will be equal to the drop across this register voltage across the resistor is IR this is the voltage source this will be equal to this so from that uh, you can make out the current also okay voltage by resistance is the current so here in the resistor we are having only resistor okay in this circuit here this voltage and current are in phase this is the voltage this is the current they are in phase in phase means this maximum minimum all at the same time here here maximum minimum okay they are in phase Mm. in particular that both V and I reach zero maximum minimum and maximum value at the same time that is why the voltage or current are in phase ok this is called in phase ok so we are using the um, as you know the Joule's heating is given by power equal to I square R so because we are squaring I square the even a negative will become positive ok which is always positive whether uh, I is positive or negative because we are doing I square so the power is always positive if you use I square I square if you use Joule heating then uh, power is always positive P equal to this so the bar over this P symbol represents this average ok denotes the average over this period the to express the if you want to express the AC power in the same form as the DC power ok a special value of the current is defined and used that is called the root mean square value ok we are using root mean square va value uh, because we can use the same view for the DC also to express the power in the same form as the DC power ok as the DC power so here we are using root mean square 
so uh, that is that is why we use rms so here is the peak value and this line is the rms value you see r for this sine wave rms values is less than this peak value okay for this sine wave rms value is less than peak value for this sine wave see rms value equal to 0 0.070 point 707 into i peak for the sine wave okay for this sine wave 0.707 into peak value that is equal to the rms so when you say 220 volt for our homes then peak value is um, uh, root 2 into uh, that is uh, VRMS equal to 0 0.707 into V peak but peak e equal to root 2 into VRMS okay root 2 into VRMS 311 volt peak voltage a light bulb is uh, rated this is the wattage of the bulb 220 volt power supply Mm, find the resistance of the pulp and the, so P equal to VA okay voltage into current is the power if you substitute I equal to V by R V equal to I R I equal to V by R okay substitute for that then you will get this formula R equal to V square by P then you will find the R the peak V peak V is root 2 into RMS okay this is the value and from that power V into I we can find out the I okay we, why do you need the phasor diagram okay only in the resistor the voltage and current are in phase but for the other like a capacitor inductor the voltage and the current they are not in phase so we need a, we use a phase diagram to represent the voltage and current see we are learned that current through the resistor in phase with the voltage this is not the case for the inductor and capacitor that is why we need a phase diagram to show the phase difference between the voltage and current. Here this is the resistance, so voltage and current they are in phase. Okay, here they are in phase. Same direction, same phase. Suppose if you use inductor, so here uh, AC source, uh, so uh, Kirchhoff's law you apply this voltage source is equal to drop across this so this minus this voltage drop across will be zero so this is equal to L in DA by DT voltage across the induction okay you see, okay. You see here this is important though voltage and current in the AC circuit is represented by phasors hmm, uh, rotating uh, vectors they are not actually vector but they are the scalar quantity voltage and current are scalar quantity but we are using the vector notation for our thing so in the inductor uh, current lacks voltage by 90 degree the you can also say that voltage leads current by 90 degrees okay current lacks voltage by 90 degrees or voltage leads the current by 90 degrees 5 by 2 means 90 5 is 180 okay the inductive reactance of the inductor equal to omega l omega equal to 2 pi f into l 2 pi f f is the frequency of the source voltage okay so from this if you increase the f this term xl will increase that is more inductive reactance then more inductive reactants mean there will be current will be less because this inductive reaction is here bottom like a uh, resistance it's so like a resistance so the more resistance less current so more xl means less current so if you decrease the frequency then uh, this will decrease 
so for a dc break you can see this will be like a short the dimension of the this uh, inductive reactants also is, uh, represented in the room unit so this is how the voltage leads current by 90 degree okay see here so here already peak voltage here is this is only starting so voltage leads current by 90 degrees or current lags voltage by 90 degrees you can also say see voltage here leads current by 90 degrees here The average power supplied to the inductor over the complete cycle is zero. The average power okay, over one cycle is zero. The pure inductor L is given, is connected to the voltage is given. Find the inductive reactants. And they are inductive reaction equal to 2 pi F. Here V, they are using V as a frequency, source frequency. 2 into 3 point source frequency 50 hertz okay this is a 50 hertz source frequency and uh, this is the inductive reactance the inductance okay 25 ohm they are using because uh, here they are milli entry they are given so they are 10 power minus 3 is they are using to make it entry so milli entry to entry okay from that there uh, you can find out the inductive reactance that is xl from that voltage by inductive area this is the rms current okay so now these are the uh, four scenarios in this four half of these cycles okay here uh, first half uh, second half like this so here uh, this scenario current uh, see current is entering here current i through the coil entering at a here entering at a uh, increases from 0 to the maximum value uh, the flux lines are set up the core get magnetized uh, with the polarity shown already okay so in this uh, cycle energy is absorbed from the source energy absorbed from the voltage source similarly in this scenario energy is being returned to the source okay in this half cycle this cycle energy is uh, absorbed from the source the energy returned to the source so here again energy is absorbed so here energy is returned so here this is the power cycle voltage current and power this is the power cycle positive power this negative instantaneous power okay so here positive here negative side so now we will see the capacitor ac voltage across the capacitor when the capacitor uh, okay when you connect capacitor start charging when the capacitor is fully charged current in this circuit falls to zero when capacitor fully charged this will be like a open so the current will not flow when you use an uh, this is for the dc but when you use a ac the capacitor is alternately charged discharge as the current uh, reverses the off cycle so you use a ac cycle the capacitor will be charged and discharged but you use a dc after some time when you fully charge you there will not be any current flow through the capacitor Kirchhoff's law. So this is the source and this is the voltage across the capacitor. This will become equal in the loop. So you differentiate here. So here you see uh, the capacity reactance 1 by WC. 1 the denominator is 1 by WC. W again 2 pi F. But here if you increase the frequency, this factor will be more. 1 by this more than XL, XC will be less. Okay, this is in the denominator. Inductance, it is, one, it is just not in the denominator. So here it is in the denominator. So if you increase uh, the frequency, here uh, this 
term will increase but reactance will decrease because one by thing is coming so the capacity reactants decreases when increasing frequency increasing frequency this number will be low but this will decrease okay again i equal to v by x but here you see capacitor here current leads holds by 90 degree okay inductor voltage leads current by 90 degree but here in the capacitor current leads the voltage by 90 degree it shows that current is 5 by 2 again of the voltage okay is like a um, current is like a cosine wave voltage is like a sine wave so here this is the difference we see that in case of inductor current lacks voltage by 90 degree but in case of capacitor current leads voltage by 90 degree okay these are the difference between capacitor and inductor a lamp is connected in series with the capacitor Mm, uh, predict your observations in the DC and the AC connections okay when you connect to a DC source and AC source what happens to uh, in case if the capacitor and capacitor is reduced when a DC source is connected to a capacitor the capacitor gets charged initially then after charging the net current um, no net current no current flows through the circuit because it is capacitor fully charged the current um, no current flows and the lamp will not glow so there will be no change even if it is c is reduced but with the ac source the capacitor offers capacity reaction 1 by wc and the current flows through the circuit consequently the lamp will shine okay reducing c uh, reducing C because it is 1 by omega C okay reducing C will increase the reactance because it is the reactance equal to 1 by omega C C is in the denominator reducing C will increase the reactant and the lamp will shine less brightly okay this is important it will shine less brightly because the reactance is more a yeah, 15 microfarad capacitor is connected to this voltage source 50 years frequency find the capacity reactance and the current of both rms and p current the frequency w okay this is how you connect the reactance see here it is a denominator so this is the reactance the rms current equal to voltage divided by this reactance so here also the same as the inductor there are four scenarios one time is observed from the source one time is really energy release here also this power cycle is same okay positive power here negative instantaneous okay so i equal to this is the p current will be root into the uh, rms current okay so now because the current is a sinusoidal wave the current between uh, plus 1.47 to negative 1.47 see I get a here a capacitor current is I get of the voltage by 5 by 2 see if the frequency is doubled because it is uh, 1 divided by 2 pi fc frequency is double when denominator will increase so the reactance will decrease okay uh, that is kappa reactants will be off of that frequency is doubled then reactant will be off and consequently current is doubled because when reactants is off voltage by current current is uh, current equal to voltage by the reactants reactant is off means current will be doubled so you have to remember this uh, formulas from that you can make out okay See this XC reactance formula and the current formula. Okay, a light bulb with open inductor or connected to the AC so as shown in the figure. The switch is closed after some time. The iron rod inserted into the when you insert iron rod, this voltage drop will become more. Okay. 
glow of the bulb increases or it decreases okay as the iron rod is inserted the magnetic field inside this um, coil magnetizes the iron increase the magnetic field inside it hence the inductance of the coil increases when inductance increases then uh, voltage drop across this will increase consequently the inductive resistance of the coil increases as a return larger fraction of the applied ac voltage appears across the inductor okay more voltage drop so leaving less voltage drop across the bulb so when you use iron core magnetizers then more voltage across inductor and less voltage across the bulb therefore the glow of the bulb decreases okay that is important see here they will use the word civil civil means in capacitor current leads the voltage okay but inductor voltage leads the current that is what they remember that civil c a v a l so in the lcr circuit okay connected to the this is uh, um, uh, inductor capacitor and resistor all three are connected so this voltage drop uh, voltage source is equal to voltage drop across resistor capacitor and inductor this is how this this is inductor voltage drop resistor and capacitor equal to the applied voltage that is the kirchhoff loops law so here uh, in the phase diagram inductor capacitor uh, therefore uh, okay phi is the difference between the voltage and the current okay this is a uh, this is the current and for the capacitor current leads the voltage and for the inductor voltage leads the current so here the total resistance of the circuit is called the impedance okay r square and square root of x minus x square i equal to v by r v r is resistance okay i equal to v by z z is this impedance for rlc and this is the phase angle by between the voltage and current okay is impedance diagram so from this if you when um, xc is greater than the xl the phi will be positive here when this is greater this will be positive if xc is less than then it will be negative is, when negative is inductive when it is positive then it is capacitive so this is the difference uh, between current and voltage uh, phase difference between the current and voltage under these conditions cos phi r by z sin phi equal to this when you want to tan phi cos sin phi by cos phi this is tan phi resonance the phenomena of resonance uh, is common among the systems is okay tendent to is oscillate at a particular frequency this frequency is called resonance frequency it is called a natural frequency so the in, from this formula resonance happens when xc equal to xl so that means at that point z equal to r or because this this uh, term will become zero when both are equal this will be zero then z impedance equal to the resistance of this circuit okay and this condition is the resonance condition so at that condition current will be maximum because z is minimum here this term will become zero z is minimum and current is maximum okay a resonant z equal to or the, the current will be maximum this is that frequency angular frequency 1 by square root of lc is the resonance frequency okay so this frequency is 1 by root uh, lc at resonance the current amplitude is the maximum here is the maximum 
okay the for different uh, resistor they are given for the two reason one one is for the uh, 100 ohm and uh, second is for the 200 ohm 100 ohm more current 200 ohm less current this is the resonant frequency see in this curve this is suppose you see, this is the maximum power so there are two points on the one on the left side and one on the right side where the power is half of this power okay that is called half power points half power points okay let us say here power is uh, 10 watts so uh, 0 0.707 into uh, this current here somewhere here there it will be 5 watts here they are both on the left side right side so that is called half power points and the frequency between those two points are called bandwidth okay selection bandwidth so this kind of uh, rlc circuit is used for in the tuning the stations okay resonance circuits a variety of application for example tuning mechanism in the radio tv sets where you want to listen to a particular frequency okay and that frequency resonance occurs so you want uh, let us say i want a 10 megahertz frequency then you design rlc circuit uh, with this l and c so that the 10 megahertz uh, we select 10 megahertz bandwidth It is important to note that the resonance phenomena executed by the circuit only if L and C are present, okay? Because the L and C are cancelled out at the resonance. So without L and C there is nothing called resonance. Only then do the voltage across L and C will can cancel each other, okay? Being out of his and the current angle, okay? The, so this means that uh, we cannot have a resonance on the RL because here C is missing or RC here L is missing so we cannot have a resonance in RL or RC circuit so here this is the half power point okay this is 1 by root is nothing but 0 0.707 into the i current that is the rms times the maximum at this value the power dissipated the circuit becomes off okay that is half power points on the curve so let us say omega 1 omega 2 those two frequencies omega 1 um, this is the resonant frequency plus the bandwidth we have to resonant frequency minus bandwidth so these are called half power frequency half power points so here so this is the resonant frequency and two frequencies at 0 0.07 somewhere so this is the current somewhere it will be here okay 0 0.707 so these two points are omega 1 omega 2 and the difference between uh, this is uh, delta w that is the bandwidth the difference and is called the bandwidth of the circuit so you see two delta w not one delta. so a from w1 to w2 then it is called two delta w is the bandwidth of the circuit the quality factor the quality is regarded as the measure of the sharpness of the resonance okay So this is the bandwidth. This is how you can um, compute bandwidth R by 2L. And this is the quality factor. Quality factor of that resonance circuit. More Q means more selective. You get the more value. So more Q then decreasing resistance increasing the inductance. More Q means more selective. See the larger range 
of delta d frequency is running in the circuit and will not be good the selection range large will not be good we have to be selective to sharp so good quality factor when r is low l is large r is low l is large quality factor r when r is low less then it will this will increase so l is large also this will increase that is the good quality factor see that gold factor okay 7.6 see the resistor and the capacitor are connected in series with the voltage so there is a resistor and capacitor rc calculate the current in the circuit okay calculate the voltage rms across the resistor capacitor so this is important they are asking is the algebraic sum of this voltages Mm, more than the source voltage okay algebraic sum of the voltage across resistor and capacitor more than the source voltage how is it possible how it is possible resolve the paradox okay r equal to c equal to this v equal to this is the source voltage so the um, drop across this should not exceed the source voltage now we'll see what happens in order to calculate the current first we have to find the impedance okay this is the total impedance of the circuit then voltage divided by this impedance is the current so now based on this current the drop across the resist, uh, resistor is ir okay drop across the capacitor is this i into the capacitive reactant okay but when you add up these two that is more than the source voltage okay that is not possible so the why it is more than because in the capacitor voltage and current is not in uh, between the capacitor and resistor the voltage are they are not in phase okay in um, resistor they are in phase cap uh, voltage and current but in the capacitor current leads the voltage by 90 degree okay current leads the voltage by 90 degree so the resistor and capacitor voltage not in phase the algebraic sum of the two voltages is so now when we add up these two is the because this is more than the source voltage okay which is more than the source voltage how to resolve this paradox as you have learned in the, the two voltages they are not in phase okay resistor voltage and capacitor voltage they are not in phase therefore they cannot be added at the arbitrary numbers the two voltage are out of phase by 90 degrees therefore the total voltage must be obtained by the pythagoras theorem okay pythagoras theorem we have to do this square root of a square plus this square plus this square okay now this total voltage will be equal to the source voltage thus if this base difference between two voltage is properly taken into the account then total voltage across the resistor and capacitor is equal to the voltage source okay that is important here the important thing is the resistor and capacitor uh, the voltage they are not in phase power factor okay the phi equal to this we have already seen this so this is the power factor i square r r is nothing but z in this circuit because we have resistor capacitor inductor so the average power dissipated depend not only on the voltage arrangement but also the angle between the voltage arrangement this is the pi pi is the angle between voltage and the current this is angle between them the quantity cos pi is called the power factor cos pi is the power factor so this cos pi in a purely resistive circuit the angle between the voltage and current is zero they are in phase okay cos zero is one okay cos zero is one angle is zero cos zero one so the maximum power uh, dissipation in the resistive circuit but purely inductive or capacitive the pi is uh, 90 degrees because in capacitive current leads the voltage by 90 degrees in re, uh, inductive voltage leads the current by 90 degrees so cos 90 is zero so here this is the wattless current 
both are in 90 degrees voltage and current in lcr circuit the power dissipated okay this is the angle okay so it may be non zero uh, okay it may be non zero power dissipated only in the resistor okay in any case the power is dissipated only in the resistor because this c and l they are in the opposite powers power is across the lcr circuit at resonance the voltage drive across the inductor and capacitor will cancel out so the power dissipation happen only across the resistor okay the magnet dissipated is through the resistance for circuit used in transporting electric power the, the low power factor implies larger lowers in the power transmission explain the power factor can when is improved by the capacitor of the overall okay so we know that this is the power p the iv cos phi okay we can depending upon what is given we can use the various formula p equal to iv cos phi or you can use i square z also this also you can use okay power is i, I square r or v a also or v square by r something uh, v a where cos phi is the power to supply given by the given voltage if cos phi is small we have to increase the current accordingly thus lead to the large power loss of, uh, in the transmission suppose in current i the voltage okay we improve the power factor by 1 by making z tend to r z tend to r z z it to r is the delta of the phase and diagram this is the power common this is the wattless common wattless when um, v and i are at 90 degrees so this is the wattless component they are in phase this is out of uh, 90 degree yeah, cos 0 mm, uh, cos 0 is 1 this is the maximum power cos 90 0 this is the no power ok It is clear from the analysis if you want to improve the power factor we need completely neutralize the um, lagging wattless current by equal leading wattless current this can be done by connecting a capacitor of appropriately value so that uh, in parallel when you connect capacitor in parallel that will add up okay c1 c2 you connect to capacitor in parallel the total c c1 plus c2 okay the more capacitance will increase more capacitance uh, so that will cancel out voltage v frequency this is applied across the lcr coat okay find the impedance in the phase difference okay here is the how you find the reactance of the inductance reactance of the capacitance so then you will find uh, the z impedance phase difference the, they are using this formula since phi is negative the current uh, um, lags the voltage across the source okay this is negative negative means uh, so the current lag the voltage across the source the power dissipation i square r so here they are using the rms rms equal to the peak divided by square root 1 by square root is uh, 0.707 power factor cos phi cos of that phi here k 
calculate the impedance again uh, so this is the oscillator frequency that resonance uh, omega naught the, uh, equal to so linear frequency is equal to 2 pi, omega equal to 2 pi v naught v naught is uh, 2 pi will come this side down radian this is angular frequency this is linear frequency so 2 pi v equal to w so the impedance is equal to the reactance at resonance z equal to r at resonance more power is dissipated okay in an airport a person is made walk through the um, uh, a person is made to walk through the doorway of the metal detector okay for security reasons if she is hearing the anything made of metal metal detector emits a sound on what principle the metal detector work this is also based on that rlc resonance metal detector works on the principle of the resonance in the ac circuit when you walk through the metal detector you are in fact walking through the coil of the many terms that is inductor coil is connected to a capacitor so that the circuit is at resonance is in resonance when you walk through the metal uh, your pocket the impedance of the circuit changes resulting in the significant change in the current the change in current is detected and the electronic circuitry causes the sound to be emitted as an alarm okay lc oscillations okay here uh, we know that capacitor and inductor can store the capacitor electrical energy stores electric energy is like a potential energy inductor magnetic energy is like a kinetic energy Kirchhoff's rule this uh, voltage these two voltages uh, add up will be zero So these are the scenarios when you connect uh, um, the capacitor and the inductor when you close the circuit then it, the, this will be, be giving like a short this inductor will get charged so all of energy will be now at the inductor when it is all ma completely magnetized then it will again uh, the capacitor charging it will release energy and the current will flow through and the capacitor will start charging so when the capacitor is fully uh, at this time then capacitor will be fully charged so this will oscillate between the capacitor and the inductor the energy transfer will happen between the capacitor and inductor periodically so this is uh, equivalent to a spring in the mass connected here zero the switch is closed the capacitor charge to discharge because completely charge now connect means it will discharge then the magnetic field will be formed up at the inductor when all charges in the capacitor uh, is uh, transferred to the inductor then inductor current flows to the capacitor again capacitor will charge so this cycle will repeat the x corresponds to the q you see l is uh, okay so that the free oscillation of the lc circuit the sum of energy stored in the cap and capacitor is constant at any time okay the sum of the energy and the capacitor and inductor is is constant at any time the energy more is capacitor than energy less in the inductor 
energy more in the inductor then there will be less energy in the capacitor okay they, they are using the formula you can go through it okay the sum of the is constant as time in time uh, the q and c are time dependent note that is equal to the initial energy of the cap why it is so thing transformers for many purposes it is necessary to change the alternating voltage from the one to another greater or smaller step up or step down this is done by the use of transformer principle of mutual inductance transformer has two coils primary coil it has the np term secondary coil ns term so the voltage across the coil depends on the number of terms this is primary and secondary okay the value of so when in the alternating current primary the resulting current produces an alternating magnetic flux which in the secondary the value of this em depends on the number of turns in the secondary okay so this is the flux produced in the coil this depends on the number of turns this is induced em up in this back em the alternating flux also induces em as called back em up in the primary this is the em up in the primary this is the secondary that is induced em up and this is induced em secondary this is back em up in the primary so now the voltage across the secondary is directly proportional to the number of turns okay so uh, want more voltage drop across the secondary increase the number of turns but power will be constant okay when voltage increases current will decrease so that uh, this will be con this is the power power on the primary we equal to power on the secondary for 100% efficient this is important when the transformer is 100% efficient then only the power in the primary will equal to the power in the secondary so when you decrease the voltage in the secondary then the current will increase so that the power will remain constant or when you increase the voltage in the secondary the current will decrease so that power will remain constant this is 100% is like a ideal transformer same power in the primary and secondary but mostly it is 95% efficiency means that input power is 10 kilowatt means the output power will be 9.5 kilowatt only 95% efficiency okay step up transformer when the output secondary voltage more than the primary voltage step down transformer when the secondary voltage is less than the primary voltage okay Uh, these are the transformer losses uh, why power loss in the transformer okay these are the reasons for the power loss ad current uh, these things okay hysteresis so the lamination alternating voltage plug induces ad currents cause uh, this effect is reduced by using the laminated core okay laminated core reduces the ad current the voltage output of this generator is stepped up so the current is reduced okay is then transmitted for the long time so voltage across the trans stepped up to avoid power loss okay so to avoid power losses to minimize the power losses you have to step up the voltage and do the transmission okay so these are the summary you can go through it V R M S equal to seven point seven into V P Q. The reactants, capacitive reactant, inductive reaction. This is impedance, uh, the angle, resonance frequency, quality factor. Okay. Points to point. These are important points. You know the direction of the current Joule heating used. Okay, this is for AC and DC. Okay.